Hello, lab experts. Welcome to the Rock Diagnostics Podcast, the podcast where we discuss everything medical laboratory science in Africa and around the world. Today, we're going to talk about medical laboratory science. Maybe you've heard of medical technology, medical um, clinical laboratory science. All those are words that refer to the same field. And we'll try and go into some detail, explain what those mean, what medical laboratory science is. We'll talk about why we decided to go into medical laboratory science, how we got to know the field of medical laboratory science, and our likes and dislikes in the field. I'm your host, Robertson Klenger, and today I'm here with... Wisdom. And Dennis. So, stick around and let's talk MedLab. So thanks again for being here. Like I was saying, today we're going to talk about medical laboratory science. Um, So medical laboratory science is a field, like I was saying earlier, you've maybe heard of medical laboratory science, medical technology. Um, One thing also, it's different from um, what you sometimes sometimes see as biomedical engineering. Sometimes there's also that confusion. It's not biomedical engineering, which has to do with equipment, but now, in this case, we're talking about working in a laboratory, working on human samples in most cases. But let's go on to wisdom and then see what he thinks. What, how would you define medical laboratory science? Okay. I'd say medical laboratory science entails uh, usually analysis of body fluids, so tissue, blood, urine, feces. Laboratory and usually this helps the this helps the doctor with their diagnosis or treatment of patients. So their analysis, analysis and tests that are conducted on these on these matrices that give the results. So whether be blood tests, bacteriological tests, and so on that give the results that help the doctor or the nurse make a decision as to probably what treatment or to confirm or the would I say the right to confirm or uh, give alternative diagnosis diagnosis to probably what the doctor is expecting. Mm-hmm. Okay, so in addition to that, uh, medical laboratory science is simply just um, a branch in medicine where we say they are healthcare detectives. Like I said. So, like he said, the um, medical laboratory science um, involves analysis of um, body samples, body fluids, tissues, and cells. So we we we, we focus more into um, diagnosis, detecting what is actually wrong with the patient so as to um, report back to the physician who ordered for the test to be able to monitor and treat the said patients. Yes. And I would just add that in, in this context, it we mostly focus on human body fluids. We also have that for beds, for animals, and yeah, we could say plants as well, but this mostly focuses on so humans. Nice. All right. So I guess one thing we can retain from that is that medical laboratory science is a field where we sort of form healthcare detect- detectives that are around mostly to ensure that humans stay in good health. So we test um, various sorts of bodily fluids to assess human health mm-hmm. so that doctors then know what actions to take in practice when they have a patient in front of them. Now, one thing I'm interested in is how did you get to know about medical laboratory science? Well, well that was, <laughs> was an interesting story of mine. Um, during my high school days, I had my mind set on um, going for medicine. And an alternative was if I don't go into medicine, I would rather just settle for biochemistry or microbiology. And uh, there was a particular day I was having a discussion with um, a cousin of mine who is a nurse and she was the first person I mentioned it to me I'm like okay since you are interested in going for a medical related course why don't you try medical life science 
And I was like, medical lab certificates, okay. Then I, I went online, made a research about it to check what they are all about, what they are into, and I found some interesting stuff. And here we are. That was how I got to know about it. Yeah. Uh, in my case, I was aware of it after I graduated university. So, first things first, I finished secondary school looking for a medical related course. So, I knew that what I wanted to do was in the sciences, but I didn't know where exactly I wanted to be. So, I eventually found a school where I could study chemical and pharmaceutical engineering. Now, based off of that, the way the course, the course works in this particular school, it's more like an umbrella course that covers a lot of subjects. So, you are not uh, particularly just doing chemistry or particularly doing pharmacy or just doing uh, medical laboratory science. So, that was part of it. The second part was that I was caught in a French bubble because I studied in a French country. In French, the name of the course, Medical Laboratory Science, is called Analyse Biomedical. So, yeah, to me, I was translating it as Biomedical Analysis. So, I never got conversant with the word in English as Medical Laboratory Science. So, it's until I graduated that I knew that, oh, this particular field existed. I think I was about to cross the road one day and a colleague or a student met me tell, telling me about how complex the procedure was to get a certification or licensing in Nigeria and told me that there's something known as medical laboratory science. That was the first time I ever heard that sentence. That's how I got to know about med lab science. All right. Yeah, so interesting stories. In my case, it was a little different. I never really had thought about biomedical laboratory science as a field in which I was going to end up because I never really knew about it. What I studied originally was biology. I got my bachelor in biology, but then that biology was a bit broad and at the same time was a bit more focused in the towards research. But I like doing things that have to do with me creating new things. And so I wanted to switch to something that was more hands-on, which is the reason why when I stumbled upon the university and I studied that and I saw the lab, I thought it would be a good segue from biology into something that was a lot more applied. So I moved from pure biology to biomedical laboratory science. And here I am. So now let's talk a little bit about why did you get into medical laboratory science? That's the base. What was your what was the main thing? I know you said you originally you were thinking about medicine or biochemistry, and then you were told about biomedical laboratory science. Was well, there anything else? Yeah, well, like I said earlier, that um, I made my research and. Thinking about it, I, when I was making the research, I was like, okay, if I don't do medicine and I just tend to for our chemistry or I just tend for microbiology, that's just a department. And I saw medical laboratory um, science and I realized it comprises of almost all these departments together. Biochemistry part, which is the chemical pathology, where we have the microbiology, we have hematology, and various other fields and I was really excited about that and the work they do in hematology was also one thing that, that struck me as something I would love and be interested in doing and I think those were one of the goals and that's the, about the money, the pay. That's <laughs> so that's about it. <laughs> well, I was not that informed in my case. I guess it all stemmed from secondary school. I guess that's why it will be very important to put some, to lay some em emphasis on that to help guide our newly graduated high school students and secondary school students that, okay, we want to go into the science field. Do not just think that medicine, nursing, and pharmacy are the only possible things to do in the sciences. There's also something like med lab science. So 
I wasn't well well informed on that part. So how I finally got into it was that I had the option of choosing between plants, laboratory sciences, and uh, medical laboratory science. And I'm not that good in both mm -hmm. plants, naming plants, botanical names, I want for Baoba bees, and then so yeah, you can tell something like that. <laughs> but I'm not that good with botanical names. So I eventually ventured into med lab science because I had a penchant for, or I have a penchant for molecular biology and anything within the realm of genetics. So I saw that, okay, I could use this as a stepping stone to eventually going for yeah. molecular biology. Mm -hmm. Because another thing to note is that uh, med lab science is not, uh, you can, it can be a career by itself and it can also be a, a, an opportunity to launch yourself so, into other careers mm -hmm. related to that. Exactly. Okay, I see. Yeah. Well, at least you remember some plant names. I can't say I remember any of these plants. Also, in my case, there was also the botany aspect. I didn't really like working with plants, so if I had to work in biology, it would have been animals. And I preferred human beings because learning about my laboratory science also allows me to learn about myself, what's happening in my body, what changes in my, let's say, lipid profile or different uh, chemical profiles can mean to me. And that's one of the main reasons why I got into medical laboratory science, apart from the fact that it's hands done. Now let's move on to finally talk about the likes and dislikes. Speaking of likes and dislikes, Earlier, you talked about working with feces. Is that is there a lot of that? Oh yes. Yes, there is. <laughs> yes. There is. Or does it depend on the lab? I know there is. As long as they have a microbiology lab, mm -hmm. <laughs> feces is always there. Always. Yeah. Always. Unfortunately, it's something you're not told. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. During the first uh, day of five years. It depends. Sometimes you are told, but it's just really fast. It's snuck in there like really fast during the lectures. Like yeah. you do blood work, yeah. urine. He says they go over it like very, very fast. But yeah, there's that. So that's one of the things that at first I wasn't used to the time. You kind of get used to it. Especially when you keep it in mind that you're doing it to help someone. So you're doing the testing that someone else who is in a bed somewhere ill, the doctor can know what the person is suffering from and be able to treat that person. What else do you, what do you like about this? Slides, let's continue with the slides. Okay. Any dislike about it, Phil? Okay. Uh, in my case, I think I'll go to the laboratory route. So, mm -hmm. one of the things I found out after getting, I'll say, soaked, drenched into the system was the long standing hours, and the number of hours you have to stand, mm -hmm. move from this section of the lab to the other section, and it's very it's very tasking, very time consuming. Sometimes you can start a group of analysis and depending on the number of panels you have, you might not finish for the next three, four hours. Yes. It might be easier if you're working with machines and some kind of automated yes. processes. Yes. But when everything is semi automated or manual, manual yeah. then Yes, you have a lot of, and in our context, that yeah, has we have a lot of manuals. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's one. Second is that, for, for instance, in my case, I had to change my diet because of how everything worked in the lab. Initially, at the lab, I, before I go to the lab, I was kind of pressing, oh, I'll eat around 12, around 1, then I eat around 4, 5, 6, and then I eat at night. Again, but being at the lab taught me a very good lesson that I could, I didn't know my body could do that. Yeah. Anyways, I, I became someone who does intermittent fasting. So, <laughs> because sometimes when you're at the lab, yeah. samples arrive, you have to be there. You can't just hand it off to someone and you are going to come back later. Sometimes also, when, uh, sometimes also when samples arrive, you just have to do them some of them are urgent, for instance. So you just need to keep your mind straight. And in my own case, sometimes when I eat, it's hard to focus for the rest of the day. 
I begin to feel sleepy and so on. So I ch- I essentially changed my diet for four years now, four to five years. Yeah. I changed my diet because of medical laboratory science. Yeah. And uh, I think another this I wouldn't call it really a dislike, more like a challenge. You need to be up on your feet and your mind needs to be very quick, you need to be quick with it. You need to be have a sharp mind doing medical laboratory science. Oh, that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. I'd say. Yeah, because if you have a forgetful mind, mind. Uh, it's going to be quite difficult because certain events happen, you might be asked to give a report sequence by sequence. And I can say that um, I've learned how to do this. I've learned how to do this over the years. So, yeah, I wouldn't call that a, a it's like, oh, you need to remember very, very tiny details. Why, mm-hmm. okay, why did it this? So, for instance, you have a certain reagents yeah. that you have to mix with a uh, powdered version, yeah. a powdered version to make sure that that reagent is ready to be used. Say for instance, you don't pay attention, or maybe your something happened. You went to attend to something and say, came back to that point, and you forgot that oh, I haven't mixed, so I haven't prepared this reagent yet. And you use it like that. Just to give you weird results, you need to recollect. Oh, where did I make a mistake? Why am I getting this result? What do I have to do? So yes. All right. So yeah. So Dennis likes. Uh, what did you like? Uh, um, about it, um, I like the fact that it, it tells. It's a job that that tells you a lot about the human body. It tells you the status of the body. It it encompasses almost all aspects of the body. When you talk about the chemical pathology, the hematology, the microbiology, so for those that have an infection, have cancer, they, they, they have um, blood disorders, those are things that medical lab science would help you um, understand and clarify. So, so mm-hmm. it's, a very, it's a very interesting, interesting course and job to have. What, like you said, it's very tasking, it takes time. You need to know that for, for prospective medical lab scientists, they need to know they need to know that it takes your time, it's time consuming, you can spend tonight shift, be on call. And once you are being called, you can be at the lab for almost two days before you go, mm-hmm. depending on how how long it takes. So yeah. that's just about to yeah. hazard wise. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so the medical laboratory science is more of a job you go in if you really like science. Yeah. Because you need to you need some chemistry, you need some biology of course, you need also some mathematics. That's something that people tend to forget, but you need it, at least a little bit of mathematics. Especially when you get into chemistry, biochemistry, there's some graphing involved, you need to understand graphs, you need to be able to do calculations, yeah. you need yeah. to understand yeah. dilution, even yeah. in bacteriology, microbiology need to understand the additions. So if you don't like science, then medical laboratory science is not really a field to go into. Something that personally I didn't like as much is um, the night shifts. Because whenever I'm in an environment that um, is different from where I usually am, from where I usually sleep. I find it hard to sleep. And when I go to the lab, usually the mindset I mean is work. So it's hard for me to sleep whenever I'm at the lab at night. So in general, if there is no work, let's say it's a night that's slow, I wander about, sometimes I go and then walk around. Sometimes I put on a movie and then I watch and then eventually by four or five when I'm really tired, I doze off maybe for 30 minutes, one hour before I wake back. Try to finish everything so I can go back home and then actually sleep. So that's one thing you need to keep in mind. There might be night shifts. Also, when it comes to your schedule, your schedule is not going to always be fixed because you go in rotations. And so there may be situations where someone is supposed to be there on that day, but he's, for some reason or another, he's not able to come. He may need to come in to help out that person. 
with the hope that one day when you need it, they'll also be able to step in for you to help you out. So that's one thing you also need to keep in mind. But all in all, like I said earlier, the reason why I like it is because it's hands-on and it allows me to use some of the more theoretical skills that I learned, but actually apply them and use them in real life to try and help people. So any parting words? What advice would you have for anyone trying to get into the field? Yeah, I'll just add some caveats. One would be that this will also depend on the, the kind of lab that you know, the work hours uh, and related to rotation, the consuming of how much time to depend on the kind of lab and the frequency of samples you receive each, each day. And uh, for me, what I would advise is for students or prospective students looking to get into this field to really make a lot of research. And if they have the opportunity, speak with people in the field yeah. because the field too is also not limited just to the laboratory. Yeah, there, are people the who, there are people who operate in research, for instance, there are people operate in forensics, mm -hmm. that people who, who uh, are into um, making products, like mm -hmm. making of religions, making of kids, that all stem out from these, from these, uh, from these medical laboratory studies. So to me, it's, it's very essential to speak with these people. And uh, also internship. Interning is very important. Uh, intern, intern is very important in first year or second year, if possible. So at least you get acquainted and you see what what's really happening on the ground. Yes. Yeah. Cool. All right. Those are anything to add. Well, in addition to that, I would just say that for those that are interested, they should uh, make sure they know that. It's not going to be a job that you will be too relaxed. The job that will always, always, you have to be on your feet, hands on, you have to be at a lot. Because most times you have samples dropping in, and if you are not focused, if you are not a lot, you end up messing everything up, mixing things up. So it's always you being at a lot, being, you know hands-on and everything. So that's, that's mostly it. All right, so there you have it. I hope you've been able to learn a little more about medical laboratory science, why it's important. Um, what are some of the reasons you may want to get into the field? And hopefully we didn't scare you too much with our dislikes. Yeah. But that's if good. you're passionate, then it's a field you definitely have to try and get into. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click on the notification bell to encourage us, and we'll see you next time to talk more MedLab. Thanks.